Alrighty, we got part two of the Behringer Tux X right here. Let's go ahead and cut on our FL Studio. This time we're going to be talking about the actual faders and how good is that going to be. Alright, let's go ahead and cut on FL. Oh, let's cut on our machine. Sweet. And yes, as you can see already, the faders are motorized. So when I actually, if I move the mouse up here, and I'm going to move it, you're actually going to see the um, mouse down here. Now, if I actually go close, you're going to actually, one thing about it, it is people want to complain about it is a little geary, or they say gritty. Um, watch if I get a little closer. Just survive, let it move by itself. Well, yeah, there's gears in there, so fucking what? And because of that, it is because it is a touch X, right? Because when you do touch it, there are commands that you can do when you do touch it. So also, that's one thing I want to let you guys know that when you do grab it just don't grab it and try to jerk it because you will feel the gears kind of um grip because they're trying to hold it in place um so make sure you like when you touch it it'll know that you grab it and the gears are kind of let go and you can move it smoothly just don't try to grab it and push it you're going to actually feel the gear kind of uh, you know grip on it and then let go because it notices you have your finger on it so just to let you know um you don't want to wear and tear that down and um just be gentle with it and touch it i love the feel of it actually i'm old school i'll be 47 in, in a couple weeks so i'm old school with hands-on um running mixer and how everything is you know obsolete and you know on my computer, computer screen so the plasticness on here or whatever it feels great to me I have no complaints about it. It feels absolutely gorgeous to me and it feels great. The dog wheel is awesome and everything. Scroll through. And it's actually, um, I got, um, clicked on my drums. And what you want to do is you see where it says, um, once again, number one, I want to make sure your fader there is on number one. So when we do, um, touch it, you'll see the actual fader move. Now, if you want to go over to, let's say, let's, let's set all these up all random. And then you go to your fader bank, um, you switch it to that, fader bank, hit it. That'll go to, now we're starting at number nine. Oops, sorry. Number nine right there. And he touched the uh, first fader here. You'll see that uh, number nine is moving over there. I think I screw this over so you can see a little better. Scrolling over with this thing. And you'll see number nine is moving. So we can uh, move these all randomly. Remember, uh, be gentle with them. Just don't grab them. Um, give it a, you know, split one second just to let go. And um, you can adjust it just so it holds on. Um, this master channel right here is not the master for over here. Just to let you guys know for the fader and actual, do the master up here. So if I do move it, you see it is that master. Uh, I don't know if it's up with the program. I haven't figured that out, that it's in master. I hear something about maybe it's got to be in global mode because it is in global mode. I don't know, I'll take it out of global mode. It's still doing it. So, I don't know. I haven't figured that part out yet. But let's move on. So, once again, we can go to our fader bank. We're at 9. You see what that looks like. Fader channel. Once again, we'll just go, you know, to 10. We'll move your 9 over, you know, your number 1 fader to 10 and then once again 11 number one will become 11 and 12 and so forth so if we go back to nine um just to stay in sequence and go to uh, the next one we can see 17 move at it in time and move these whatever go our next one we're in 25 and we can see that you know it's all randomized over how we had it and if we were to go to our fader bank and, you know, switch back um, to each bank we have, it's all set. Now, when we pass one, that's going into hundreds. 
you know, like we were gonna pass over here, be in the 100s, whatever. But it's still ahead. It's in one, so. So there you go, you got your motorized faders, of which are Behringer. And once again, let me go ahead and, uh, as I did in my other tutorial, just a quick second to make sure this thing works for you and your MIDI settings. You wanna make sure you have your X touch set to sync 11 your midi out x touch sync number three your midi in x touch 11 and your midi in or your midi in main x touch number three you got it by seeing the visual all right guys um i think this is pretty much self-explanatory just showed you that this works great with fl studio i haven't had any issues with it i'm going to dig in more I've only had this for a few days, but I just wanted to show you guys this does work. You know, just scrolling through, it's nice and flawless. You guys will love your, um, your fader banks. All right, peace out. Love it. Looking good. Take it easy.